the, the addition of the, the the chainsaws and the the brains and and trying to you know you guys ever hear of the chainsaw professor wait, wait, what wait, wait, what i don't know but i want to the chainsaw professor uh otherwise known as angela <laughs> thank you no that's the chainsaw wizard I'm the, sorry. right chainsaw wizard sounds like a black sabbath song thank you that's the be- that's honestly the best one yeah Yep. The Chainsaw Professor, otherwise known as Professor Max Bernard Frank or Franck, uh, was a um, a professor of, I believe, sociology in uh, California, Fresno. So he was an actual professor. Correct. Yes, this was a man. Not, not, not he didn't get his doctorate in chainsawing. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He got Can it in I, other things. That As you awesome. should. You should though. It also could be like a professional wrestler's name, Professor Chainsaw. Professor Chainsaw does sound like Bone Saw from uh, Spider Man. Bones. Who was a macho man, Randy Savage, Correct. right? Ooh, yeah. oh, we were doing that earlier. Thank you. So the story of the Chainsaw Professor actually starts with a man named uh, Tracy Leroy Newt. Unfortunately, they were not able to uh, identify him from his, uh, Unusual his remains. Unusual <laughs> right. From his remains when they found him. Um, he was a, you don't want to say transient, but he was a runaway. He was a runaway. He had some, he, had, he, was, he was a troubled youth. His mom had problems with him and she, like, he was, he was getting to be too, too big to handle and she sent him off to go to a juvenile home and he, he, uh, basically ran off and decided he was going to go to, to Hollywood and make his, his fame and fortune on, on the big screen. Well, now I feel bad because I know this isn't going to end well. <laughs> no, well, no. I mean, yeah, I'm telling you the Depends story. Depends on your description of well. The beginning of this was Chainsaw Professor. So Tracy uh, managed to make his way to California, and um, like so many runaways, uh, instead of uh, being greeted by uh, movie producers and directors, he was greeted by uh, drug dealers and pimps and the underworld Abuse. Of, of Hollywood. Right. Mm. Um, the uh, prevailing uh, theory was that uh, Tracy began um, prostituting himself uh, in, in the area, um, and was the uh, John, I guess you would say, is it a John? John or, is like no, John's customer. the other guy, right. Yeah. So he, he his one of his Johns became uh, this man, Max Bernard Frank, Frank who was a professor at, at, at the university. Uh, the reason that we come to know Tracy is because his remains were found scattered across, they, they list the counties, the guy drove around and, Jeez, and distributed He's a multi-county... Like he tried a- to get rid, basically uh, there, there isn't much detail around the murder. They know that uh, the chainsaw was used to get him into smaller pieces so that he could move him easier and distribute him. But not uh, the necessarily remains. the implement of death. Correct. Or- I, they believe that it, it was probably uh, some type of stabbing or, or um, but blood letting. But to the chainsaw. It didn't Correct. start with the chainsaw. It moved on to the chainsaw. Correct. Was this body uh, distributed uh, across highways, interstates? It was different. Uh, yeah, different locations it seemed to be sort of haphazardly scattered in, in kind of a, a an, in a way to circumvent uh investigation did he just drive like delivering newspapers just, just like, throwing, uh, out, throwing out an arm out of the window yeah, just whipping out femurs left and right or a weird murdery santa claus like you've been a very good boy this year <laughs> That's ridiculous. So uh, the way that they ended up catching Max, the uh, the chainsaw professor, was that he uh, rented he rented that chainsaw under his own name. <laughs> oh, great. always a good okay. idea. Always and then a good idea. returned it uh, to the to the uh, hardware store with bits of skin, <laughs> hair, and flesh. In Someone wanted to get caught. He wanted um, to get there caught. There were actually two separate investigations going on. One to oh, identify geez. the remains of this person who had been scattered across the area, and another to find out where what the blood and, and hair was in this chainsaw. Oh, that, so it was hair wrapped into the motor and the right engine. They, <laughs> and the internal mechanisms. Oh, Apparently, he had att- it up. He had attempted to clean it, but but they they found something in there, and uh, basically the the two paths converge, and they uh, they arrest Max. Um, this was in 1987. 1987. 1987. Damn. There was an interesting. Uh, I guess, uh, trial, uh, in that Max's defense lawyer, uh, presented the defense that Max couldn't have committed these murders because he was, quote, too nerdy and inept. Um, <laughs> he was a, he was Wait a, a minute, his, his public defender? This or was his, his defender. Oh uh, my God. How rude. What kind of, wow. <laughs> so, um, yeah, look at this little geek. He couldn't do this. It's like, uh, thank you. He was, uh, <laughs> he looks up and goes, <laughs> dude, <laughs> we didn't talk about this. 
Well, you know, the late 80s were, you know, I could see power nerd. tools being a sign of status. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was like, this, like, look at this nerd. I'm not like, a nerd. Can't look, even I'm lift gonna, that shit. Gonna, it was gonna, the glove don't fit thing. Like, pick up that chainsaw. <laughs> I can't. I like, can't. I can't. Uh, it doesn't work. Leaf Murder. blower, yes. But chainsaw? chainsaw? No. no. Come on. The leaf blower murderer I really want to hear about because that's actually seems really interesting. Oh, my God. That it takes be- years to tell you. <laughs> 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 that's just loud and annoying. You're not killing me at all. <laughs> <laughs> On season 20 of Leaf Blower Murder. <laughs> Why don't I just move? <laughs> <laughs> and he was actually his public defender, so yeah, he wasn't being he wasn't being paid at least by Max. Um, his the, the guy's name is Mark Kaiserman, and uh, I guess the most incriminating bit of evidence that they found was uh, a collection of what the the investigators deemed the largest stash of homoerotic pornography that they have ever seen. Um, what? Um, among which... <laughs> the largest? The largest. Uh, I guess by the Fresno County uh, Police Department. And this was 1987? 87, right. So, I mean, you know, it's probably like advanced and stuff. So th- that means that they saw some stashes of porn and been like, that's a lot of that's gay porn. That's a lot porn. of porn. <laughs> like, oh my God! That's way more gay porn than we've seen before. It was a remarkably large amount. <laughs> yeah. Wow. From the norm, from the median. <laughs> An astonishingly large amount. Right, like a normal porn. amount probably just gets glossed over at least in the headlines, but this was like noteworthy amounts of gay porn. <laughs> so, okay, well, in addition to the in addition to the stash, were photos of the victim before, I guess, the murder in sort of a, a pornographic romantic capacity. He had he had photos of this guy, so that was, I guess, the most damning evidence. But uh, Kaiserman, uh, his public defender, added to his defense that uh, Kaiserman was or that Max was too nerdy, too much of a klutz to wield a gun, let alone manage a chainsaw. And Kaiserman re- uh, repeatedly reminded jurors that Max had cemented over his entire front yard to avoid having to use a lawnmower. I feel like that's awesome. Oh. This lawyer's got to be saying like, "Am I right?" A lot, right? right. <laughs> like, it's, right? it's a very "Am I right?" defense. Am I right? <laughs> he also he also like likes, take my wife. <laughs> he also likes to go to the well one too many times and just says, uh, "By the way, manhole cover laser discs of gay porn." <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking a lot of gay porn. <laughs> and invent a new medium for the amount of gay porn he had. Manhole cover size laser discs. <laughs> the most inconvenient digital media that's ever been seen. But 1987, that's uh, like It's like whoa. a triple extra large right. pizza of gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, dude, that's too much pornography. Avoid the noid. Despite the creative defense that uh, Kaiserman put forward, uh, Max was tried and accused for the murder. The jury it doesn't say how long they took, but uh, apparently the prosecution's argument was that there was an attempt by and I, I don't know that they had any evidence for this, but there was an attempt by Tracy to extort money from Max um, in lieu of not outing him, I guess, to the local community. And in a fit of quote-unquote homosexual rage uh, killed and dismembered the, Thank you. <laughs> Gay Gay rage! (laughs) Killed and dismembered this man and distributed his body parts uh, across the tri-state area. The the tri-county area, excuse me. Max didn't live very long. He ended up dying of a heart attack in uh, Cochrane State Prison in 1997. Um, He was sentenced to 25 years to life, possibility of parole after 17 in the year 1988. Um, so, uh, one of the more interesting things actually, so that was, I guess the, the culmination of the chainsaw professor, but one of the more interesting things I thought, so this is a, uh, complete break of character for this person, right? Like mm-hmm. normal quote unquote professor guy, has friends, everyone kind of like, you know, knows him as a, a very meek, mild, low key kind of guy. Um, and then there was actually, uh, a, an article that was released the same year that he was arrested by uh, that that had an interview with some of his coworkers, and they mentioned that he uh, he had just received a grant from the state to study some local uh, county and town um, public offices, and the uh, it's a very boring shit. Yeah, the, but like to like run for office? Like- no, no, no. To to investigate essentially their usage of uh, tax funds and how they were being funneled into local community government, and then this was like a basically he was you know this was a nerdy man. He was elated with this. He wanted to like he was looking forward to this work that he was going to be doing, and then this weird, completely out of character, you know, 
chainsaw murder happens and the guy maintains his innocence the entire time his sister uh comes up as a character witness and basically is like well, this is, this makes absolutely no sense we have no idea what's going on um and really the only tie i guess the hard evidence is the fact is- that he rented the fucking chainsaw under his name and has it has like yeah. bits of hair and shit in it that is hard evidence <laughs> that's very, yeah it's probably hard to get away from you know I don't know. I was th- I was thinking conspiracy theory. Most I was, trees I, don't I was have going hair. like, w- w- you know, what if he uncovered something and he was, he, you know, he like, like this someone might to follow the paper trail to the Department of Lumberjacks. They know. Dun, 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 right? Dun, dun, Maybe dun, you know dun, who dun, the dun. who the fuck? I don't know. Like a John Grisham <laughs> novel, the gone Lumberjack wrong. Mafia. Yeah. I feel like there's something there. Maybe it was still there from the guy who had the chainsaws previously. Oh, good. He yeah, just, that's a good. Uh, yeah. You, if you rent a chainsaw, you'll, you're, you're going to notice if there's a bunch of. Hair, hair in it. Blood they bunk. said bits, don't not bunch. bits. Like uh, hair bits. And don't forget, he's a nerd and a noob when it comes to chainsaws. So maybe he's like, I thought they were supposed to be there. I That's really negligent there. of the people that are renting the chainsaws. Like, well, this one's uh, got a bunch of hair and skin in it. Here, you, you take this. You a- take this. After school job for some high schooler who just doesn't right? care in 1987. You think they're you know? examining every chainsaw that comes in and out are of that place? Are you covering for somebody? I mean, seriously. Don't worry about it. <laughs>